Well, hello people, and welcome back to part 75 of Orchid Bay, our vanilla city skylines build. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you for all spot last week. You guys very much enjoyed the FA Synergies factory funded community suburb. And there's some great feedback as well. Uh, definitely adding cycle lanes in, which we have now added uh, into a couple of different roads here to kind of connect into the main cycleway. And also some wind turbines up on the hill as well. Uh, really great additions into the suburb. I don't know how I didn't put the cycle in. <laughs> this is a real obvious choice, wasn't it? And from another comment from uh, the wonderful uh, Josh Enio, who left us a comment on that episode, uh, it's going to actually inspire today's build, uh, which is going to be another factory facility. I guess at this point, we might as well rename it to the City Skylines Factory Guide, I guess. <laughs> that might be a more appropriate name for the series at this point. So we're actually looking at the Nike World Campus in Portland, Oregon today for some inspiration uh, with some really cool layouts this place has, uh, including a sort of running trail that runs around the whole campus. Uh, there's multiple sports fields. There's also a lake here as well, which I think we'll struggle to recreate in cities. Vanilla, but we can still have some fun with it. And I'm thinking we're going to put this uh, up in the hillside here. Uh, so I'll give a sort of general concept of where we are. A river by Orchid by Regional Airport, and there's a lot of um, undeveloped land out here. So I brought in a connection over here where they now goes under the train line, and this is where we're going to start bringing it up, I think. So I'd certainly like this road here to eventually run over this way. Let's pop on our topography views and just see what sort of landscape we're playing with. It's pretty hilly over here. So now I actually think we'll follow those topography lines as well. As we're drawing this road out, because I, I eventually envision it's going to connect with the bridge that crosses here, and also the bridge that of the road that goes under the runway, um, out of Orchid by Regional as well. So, uh, let's bring our networks across this space. So we can now prepare this big arterial to eventually hook into many different things. Now, I'm not particularly certain what exactly lies in this area of Orkin Bay just yet. Uh, we are towards kind of the map fog, so I can't imagine it's going to be anything significant, but there is large amounts of land out here. So, let's turn our attention towards today's build, uh, which is going to be at the big clothing brand campus of Orchid Bay. So let's bring our first road into the campus, and I think we're going to have some cycling around here as well. But please also feel free to get suggestions as well for the uh, name of Orchid Bay's kind of main clothing brand. Feel free to name it, we'll name it today, or next week rather. So in the world in Oregon, there's actually kind of a running trail that goes all the way around the campus, which is a really cool feature and definitely something I want to bring in. So let's grab ourselves a pathway. Now, something a little fancier, maybe amusement park path might be quite welcome here could also do zoo path it did make a very brief return uh last episode didn't it i think it's the most sort of cool green organic looking one isn't it which kind of it really is the vibe of this campus let's go with this we'll go for two tiles either side and then i think what we will do is we'll, we'll come back to this later because really i want to make sure uh, we have enough room uh, for the rest of the facility to develop. So we'll arrive into the campus and we're going to provide a bit of car parking and we'll make a little design for these. So super green and kind of real big corporate headquarters, proper Googleplex vibes is what we're trying to achieve here. So let's leave three tiles between our sort of entry road and our car parking holding frames. Bring this down here. I imagine we can also get some uh, cool campus assets involved in here today as well. We'll sort of see how it develops. Uh, a lot of different, unique, very quirky looking buildings is going to help tie the vibe together, I feel. Cool. We'll have our parking here. And we'll have a little bit more parking on one side than the other. Don't want it to be too symmetrical. So, you know, let's also knock this back and then we'll have four tiles out this side as well for some more parking. Obviously, we can hear the Coco shakes. She is stirring. Put uh, that 
Should be okay, I think that should be pretty cool. So obviously with it being a kind of a sports brand complex, there's um, a ton of sports fields here. So I reckon we'll start by introducing one of those, and I think we'll come into campus and we'll grab some varsity sports. And then we'll grab the track and field stadium, I think. So let's have this come through here. Now I would like to have quite a bit of pedestrianisation across the campus. I'd like to try and avoid roads where possible. So let's have this run here. And this is going to have such a cool view across the city as well, this big sports campus. So if anyone has knowledge of the Nike Worldwide Campus in Oregon, um, is, is the running tracks in the fields for employees? Or is it for kind of athletes when they're there doing sort of brand sponsors, etc.? I'm not entirely sure. We'll, uh, we'll wait and see. Cool. Yeah, so I'm happy having the track and field stadium there. But let's have a look at actually developing kind of the main campus itself. So I definitely want to include... Um, now, I'm aware that Nike isn't producing <laughs> their actual clothing at the campus, but uh, I want to find an excuse to bring in the two factories that we have remaining, uh, which are the clothing and the sneaker, which I believe that is all the factories now officially used in Orkham Bay, uh, which is wonderful. So, per new apparel. Would sit quite nicely there I think wouldn't it maybe we can have that and then almost pretend it's a, a merging of these two assets I think we can get away with that so let's move the sneaker factory over there for right now what are these going to need crops paper petroleum plastic that's all nearby and I'm going to put crops on plastic yeah it's all nearby thankfully because we've got the forestry over here in the farm in here and the oil refineries here as well so it should be extremely easy to keep both of these factories supplied which will be nice Cool. let's push this over and again we'll just give a little border for this so let's go for three tiles as well to help us with some detail and lots of trees around this campus too so i'm looking to really align the logo with the road how's about that move our time of day along a little bit so the shadows aren't as intent quite nice in the sort of late afternoon area isn't it and the sun's about to go well sort of go down anyway yeah, I think I like that, okay. So obviously the name of the campus isn't Pernu, because that sucks. Uh, please come up with some egg-related brand names. Off the top of my head, we could do... Egidus, or Egidus, I guess is, <laughs> is how you would say that. But uh, that's, that's pretty terrible, so <laughs> I'll leave you guys to come up with that. Cool, so we'll bring a road up here, and we'll start forming the internal layers of the campus. For which I think then that's when we'll grab the sneaker factory. But we can also have Sneaker Ridge on here as well. I wouldn't mind having that at the forefront, but this one's a little bit more... I guess the factory looking, isn't it? The one behind. Yeah, I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Cool. So we'll have that there. Um, so I did mention I'd love to bring in some pedestrianisation. Let's continue to add more sports facilities to this place. And now what's the... What's our nicest pedestrian road that we're going for? Probably Sandstone with trees, maybe. We want to do that one. Let's bring these up against the edge of our assets, and I'm hoping if we have left ourselves enough room that we can have some of our peanut sports venues in here. So let's grab sports venues and we want community or well, the regular one. I think maybe we'll have both. Um, let's bring that up there. That's actually really wonderful because then we can extend these walking paths out the back side and it should all hook in although this one is a little bit of a more awkward shape isn't it bring that up from there and then we hook back in i to make sure that pathways and pedestrianization remain kind of a key focus of the campus and then we'll also push our pedestrianization out a little bit further it will give everything a service point eventually uh, and then I reckon another another sports field in there as well. Now, there is quite a lot of them, so I'd almost be tempted to go for a third. Am I overdoing it now? Potentially. We'll find out now. Okay, so we want one more tile than that. Let's give it another tile of breathing room. And then essentially we can have this as the football bit, obviously, <laughs> of our big clothing brand campus. 
it's a really cool facility in Oregon. Um, I've never bothered to check it out. I've never really checked Portland for inspiration before, so a big shout out to Josh for finding it. It's a, it's a really cool sort of build to take inspiration from. Cool, but already that's looking not too bad at all, is it? So in terms of adding kind of cool assets now, there's a lot of choice in uniques, but unfortunately we've used them all by now. And there's obviously the, the Nano Center from High Tech. Which does look cool here, but I probably want to save that for our space industry, I think. Rather than having it here, so I think we will probably end up removing that. So I reckon some campus assets would actually go rather nicely for this. So we're pretty insane on university demand, it's not like we need it. But these assets are super versatile. So if I remember rightly, the Prepare to Farms University is very, very close to becoming prestigious. Which means it will hit level 5 and we'll finally get those last few assets to use, including the School of Engineering, which I reckon would be quite nice here as well. So let's, let's see, we've actually got a little spot of it over here, haven't we? So let's drag this out up here. Prepare to Farms. We'll have a presence over this way and then just trim that back as well. There we go. It's a really nice way to get more use out of your campus areas, I think. Packs them into different areas and dragging their areas across because I think in Vanilla City Skylines, the population numbers just don't translate to the campus numbers. It, uh, the campus just holds so much capacity. Cool. So let's see what we can use here. Of course, the gymnasium and the auditoriums are going to be the obvious choice. So let's grab the gym first of all. We'll have this here and we'll line this up nearby toward our sports fields over here. And then I want to grab this road again now and we'll start to give the campus something of a box here. Also trying to leave space for that running track that I want to bring around the edge as well. And then we'll bring those up as well and we can start to develop some more things out here. The labs is also a very nice building as well which isn't something we use uh, that often. Yeah, I reckon we'll have this in here as well. We'll have this as a building just off to the left of the main campus here, I think. Something like that. It's looking pretty cool, isn't it? It's going to be a fun one to detail this as well. Like lots of trees around the edge of it. So, a big feature of the night campus in Oregon is the big lake that sits around it, which is something I'd love to replicate. And it's something that's quite hard to do in um, vanilla CS, at least. So we're going to have to place down a, a fresh water outlet, which comes with a natural disaster DLC, which is going to pump fresh water for us, but it won't ever stop pumping, which means that somewhere in the lake, we also need to pump it back out. So it's kind of in a continuous cycle sense. So it's almost like a fountain, sort of how a fountain works anyway. So let's dig out the area that we want our lake to sit at. Let's come down here. Now I don't want too much cliff texture beginning to show. So yeah, that's definitely too much there. Let's bring it up. Maybe a touch lower than that. Yeah, what you're playing with there, that's like six or seven contour lines deep. Let's dig it all out. And again, I don't want it to be too close to the road because I'd like some pathway around the base of it. We'll have this here. We'll dig out a generally nice sort of shape. Now we're going to have to have a water pump stashed somewhere in here. <laughs> so this is going to be jank essential for a hot minute here. So give me a second. I reckon if we can have the lake sort of leave the campus. A little bit too much soil there. That's okay. Then we can stash the, the water pump down here. So let's dig way down to hide it because the water pumps are tall buildings. Something like that. Now we can drop rocks and overgrowth around it to help it camouflage in a little bit. And then with the fresh water outlet, we can hide this pretty much in plain sight. Now as long as it submerges, it actually looks like it might not quite submerge there. It could possibly do with going a touch deeper maybe. Let's try that level instead. So we'll push this out to be the new base of the lake. Wonder if we actually want to place that down now we've changed the height. So why don't we go for one there? It's freaking out a little bit with the placement of the water. 
I just want to make sure that that bottom layer is all at the same height, then it will actually start to fill the bottom, which is at least the most important aesthetic, isn't it? I would almost be kind of tempted to create sort of a, I guess a bit of a mini dam um, that's lower than the land itself. So my idea here is that the lake will fill up to at least this height before it begins to spill down into the water pump is the thought process behind it. So let's just see how that behaves as the episode develops. It should be okay, I think. How are our factories doing? Got a lot of people coming in here, aren't we? Oh, it'd be because there's match days, won't there? That'll be why. Uh, it's, it's, it's okay, though. Okay. <laughs> I always enjoy seeing the, the prepared to farm university eagles. I love it. Okay, yeah, so it will get a little bit busy on a match day, but it's okay. Is the car park kind of bowed there? It looks like it is a little bit, isn't it? But so far, the lake does actually seem to be doing the job that I want it to. It's filling up, and then once it fills up too much where it's about to threaten the campus, it's going to spill into the, into the pump. So hopefully, that's going to continue to work. So with that in place now, Let's continue our... Uh, do we actually want to go maybe pedestrian down this way? No, I think we'll keep the roads flowing through this bit. Uh, so let's bring the road across here a touch and then we'll line it up with here. Hopefully it's just going to form a bridge of its own accord. Of course it's not. So we'll do our own. We'll do a 420 bridge. Bring it back down. Wonderful. Is there a content creator bridge we want to possibly explore that might be a touch nicer? Is the European stone, which is always welcome. I do love this asset. Yes, I think that's okay. I think I'd also like to make these pumps or outlets a little bit deeper as well. I'm not a massive lover of them being exposed, although of course now we can't build it on water, can we? That's a job for detail and egg then, isn't it? That's okay. We'll see how the lake goes. We haven't really made an artificial lake in vanilla before, so we'll see how it develops. Cool, so we can wrap this up around here. I imagine we'll have our uh, running trail pass by this as well. It'll be quite a lot of fun. So how far off are we hitting that level? We need one or two more assets, don't we? And uh, let's also be notified of the year ending as well, so we know when it's happened. So why don't we grab cafeteria maybe. I guess also we could grab um, an IT club. That brings us up to 1795 attractiveness. And how about a couple of fountains on the entrance into the campus maybe? They'd be welcome. That should tip us over the threshold of campus attractiveness. It does indeed. So once this academic year comes to an end uh, we can get the School of Engineering factored into the campus as well. Uh, until that happens, let's explore some more sports fields. So I think if we're taking inspiration from an American Nike campus, then American football should probably be, be present as well, shouldn't it? So I reckon we'll turn the laboratory into the, I guess, American football sort of study hall, I guess, is what I would refer to it as. We've got the community park here. Um, I'd love to have that backing on to the labs if at all possible. There we go. Maybe at the labs they can find out why they actually call it football when it's played with their hands. <laughs> Maybe that's what that's what they're studying there. I calm down as well. I know there's going to be a load of angry NFL fans in the comments right now. Egg, you can't say that about American football, Egg. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, so what are we there? We're a couple of towns deep. That's okay. Bring everything down so we've got lots of room to play with. And this one in there. And that is what we're after, I think. How much differentiation is there between the suburban one? I do appreciate the suburban one. I think I'd actually rather have two suburban ones in here. So let's box off this first field with the pedestrian road. Um, this node's very tight here, but it's not going to be a problem. It's not going to get a lot of through traffic. Definitely don't do this on like a major road. But otherwise, these should be okay here. We'll have one there, and then we'll mimic that pattern on the other side. 
And that should bring quite a nice end toward the campus here. I uh, wouldn't mind actually running a bit of a key wall against that there. But um, our wooden track's also going to come through here as well, isn't it? So make sure we factor that in. Um, are these little pathways actually extendable? Do these factor in? Not really. That's it. That's, that's fine though. That's okay. We still got room to weave our running track around there. And I reckon we'll actually not box those off on the sides. Although you do need to remain connected there. Cool. And can we bring some service painter in here too? Not sure if they collide with the campus assets or not. They don't. It's wonderful. We'll have that there, I think. Just up to the edge. Cool. Kind of makes it look like you can walk there now, doesn't it? From uh, the back of the building up to the, the field. I'm pretty happy with that. So we've got American football represented here now. Actual football. And some running track vibes as well. I feel like baseball would also be welcome here as well, wouldn't it? We'll see if we can find a spot for that. Also bring that one down so it does maintain its connection. I see. Wouldn't mind bringing that one up from there, I don't think. Yeah, I think, I think we'll do that. It'll be quite nice there. And I guess it also makes sense to keep that going up here as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, I reckon we'll feed this pedestrian pathway around at the edge of our track and field here, I think. Make the whole campus a little bit more, a little bit more walkable. Uh, so the only asset I'm really left waiting for now is the School of Engineering, which is still a little bit of time away. So whilst that's happening, why don't we configure uh, the rest of our running track that runs around the whole edge of the campus. So we'll stick with Elevated Zoo Path during the elevated sections. Let's have this kind of snake bounce, also snap back into that grid as well. There we go. So, the running path, do we want to keep it zoo path, or? I think the grey texture is a little bit underwhelming. So I think we'll go for zoo path without decorations, I think. So the idea here is that you can eventually just go for a jog around the entire campus. I imagine I'll want another asset here. I'm not entirely sure what yet, but we'll leave space for it. Uh, let's also have this here. They can join. Actually, no, no. Let's keep it elevated. I was going to say they can join the road, but we'll let this cross over as a bridge. Yeah, another little peak is okay there. Uh, we'll have them cross the road here to enjoy the running track. How's this lake sustaining? It's, uh, it's not too bad at all, is it? Although I think I am going to have to drain it out. Because I really don't want these <laughs> just showing above the waterline. So I think what we will do is keep that that same system seems to work quite nicely, doesn't it? So like it's just, it's flowing over the flood wall there. We could even possibly afford to bring that a touch higher, but it's working for right now. So when it does eventually drain away, we're going to dig out two cavities for those water outlets to sit at. And then... They'll be submerged below the waterline, so we'll let that happen naturally. Uh, back to our running track. I would then like you to cross back over the road. Turn off our snappings while we're coming to a little bit more of a finicky area here. Up onto our angle. Uh, let's bring our roads to a close up this way. And then the running track can continue over here for a little bit. Take it into the base of the mountain where we'll bring a lot of that natural orchid bay forest back around. You having it surrounded by the forest will give it a bit more of a sort of exclusivity feel, won't it? Oh, got a cougar. I imagine he's fleeing from a deer, is he? Yeah, just had his home. <laughs> just had his dad turned into a campus. I'm sure that the clothing brand won't be putting that in their marketing, will they? I'm sure they won't. And with you, yes, let's start to descend here. In a similar fashion to what we did on the other side. Cool. And then this can just form in on a road guideline and a curve tool. That'll keep us all happy. But now we have the running track that circles the entire campus. Which is already looking pretty cool. Although traffic 
could prove to be an issue, especially on match days. So let's see what we can do to possibly remedy that. Um, there is already cycling infrastructure uh, on the road we came out of. So what I am going to do is actually upgrade this into cycling. Uh, down to here, because this is already cycle road down, down this way. Uh, there's a horrendous curve there, isn't there? Let's, uh, let's fix that while we're here. That's disgusting. There we go. That's a little nice, isn't it? So a little bit of cycling always takes the pressure off, doesn't it? And we do have, which I knew this would come in useful one day, <laughs> uh, this bus hub over here, which currently has um, five lines stopping in it, which is quite cute, actually. 271 through the airport bus station a week. Let's have a little look at it, shall we? It's been a very long time since I've been over here. But, uh, yeah, getting a little bit of use, isn't it? Stopping at the airport. Hopefully, there is a school bus stop in here as well, so hopefully the children don't accidentally board a flight. Uh, but we will drop in a new line. That's going to come down here. Um, I wouldn't mind having it stop there. Do we want to put a stop over the same one? I guess it makes sense, right? More than two bus routes stop at the same stop. Uh, then it can come right up through the campus. I guess it will stop here one day because I guess there'll be little offshoot roads going to different areas. Uh, but until then, how do you choose to turn around? Okay, you go around the edge there, that's fine. So let's have it start directly outside the campus there. It's actually going to change the shape of the road at the front of the factory, which will be quite nice. And then I guess that's all it needs to do. It can mirror a stop on the way back out here and then just come into the regional airport and we will name this while we're here. And we want to go for bus line 43 is awkward by regional to I guess the clothes campus is what it's currently called, but once you guys come up with the name next episode, then we will of course change it. And is there a, a nicer bus? Maybe this more modern 30 capacity looking one might be quite cool. Cool, so how many platforms do we have left here now? I uh, got five more. Cool. So we're actually really starting to fill up this airport bus station now. That was a really nice addition. And I really like this airport. It was a it's a really fun build this one. I love the big sweeping bus roads that come down. Very cute. Nice airport build, that one. And of course, we haven't actually uh, implemented the airport apron here, have we? Which we actually need to do, so uh, let's do that while we're here. Because we didn't actually have airport aprons when we built this airport, did we? Um, I don't mind a few out here either. There we go. We also do some around here too. God, they're just so useful, aren't they? This was such a good update. Getting these um, airport aprons in. Allows you to do much more chiseled out airfields. If you are wondering, the airport painter does come with the airport's DLC. Which is available below in Instant Gaming for a fantastic price and it helps support the channel. So if you want it, you know where to get it. Oh, that, yeah, it's a great addition, that, isn't it? Just a flush concrete around an airfield makes an absolute world of difference. Lovely stuff. Uh, wonderful, but otherwise. I think we're just waiting for the campus now, aren't we? Yeah, which is very nearly done. So, we'll be right back to place the School of Engineering once we're here. I'll see why we are doing that. Um, there is crime issues. Let's actually put down our service point first. Uh, a small one should do it. How about there? Is that okay? Does that work? Mm, no, not really. Not really. I think instead we'll stick it near the parking lot next to our track and field stadium uh, so we are playing with crossover of pedestrian campus so we'll have to mix and match the two and uh, then you also want to come over here and service these as well i'm just so we can trim up some of this campus area now as well as a mix and match of the both so that's actually make sure we do maintain the assets in the campus otherwise they won't count towards the level did I just accidentally remove that fountain just as it leveled up? No, we did. We got it. I was, I was about to <laughs> be very furious. I thought I just removed that fountain from the campus area and it dropped it down a level than it actually needed, but I think we're okay. Uh, so with the School of Engineering, 
Definitely a big boy. I imagine I'm going to push a little bit of this mountain back. Also keep the game playing as well because I want this lake to drain. At which I actually need to, of course, break that break water so it will flow down. Let's uh, slope up to that so it all starts pouring out. There we go. Uh, yes, but I reckon we'll put the School of Engineering uh, over here facing the lake, which will be quite nice. So we'll push a little bit of this out. We'll make it look a bit more natural. I don't like to do too much terraforming of mountains, but I think having the School of Engineering over here is going to be rather fancy. It does want its campus area, of course, so we'll provide that as well. Have this in here. So I definitely want that to take center stage. Sort of right up against the waterfront there. I think it'd be quite cool. We'll get some car parks around it as well. Definitely warrants its own park and I think a building like that, doesn't it? So let's sort of look across the lake. I'd love it to be kind of lined up with this corner. Up there. Yeah, looking across the big lake to that super important building is going to be quite cool, I think, isn't it? And then, like I mentioned, we'll grab some roads to sit around it. We'll see if we can develop some cool parking patterns here. So we can save four tiles of space around the back of the asset might be quite cool. Something like that. Wouldn't also mind some uh, multi-story facility around here either. Yeah, so we can do that. And then, is that going to allow us to place down another one? No. Then we need one more tile by the looks of it. Yeah, and then we can do two here as well. And some airport apron to tie some of it together at least. Yeah, it does have a little clip there, doesn't it? That's okay though, it's okay, we can live with that. And then break off those frames and we can now have some parking wraps around the edge of it. But otherwise guys, that does feel like a good point for a detail in time lapse. I'm going to sink those water outlets a little bit more. I decorate the entire campus with trees and give it a real kind of exclusive prestigious sort of feel. And then lots of inner campus detailing with uh, spaces to fill all around with trees, get some props, some little eating areas as well for maybe athletes that are coming here to sign deals and probably bring some warehouses in too a bit more of an industrial side of the campus that's going to help feed clothing factories even though they are staying pretty well stocked anyway are you okay what's wrong why are you why are you complaining because you're not hooked into your pedestrian area that would be why wouldn't it but otherwise let's do some detailing and then we'll be right back
Okay guys, so let's have a little detail review, shall we? So up at the front of our sports campus, we have some fencing and some tree patterns uh, with a little logo, and we'll obviously change logo to whatever name you guys come up with. And then headed into the campus, we have uh, lots of tree detailing across the entire facility. And that, that factory ended up working out real nicely at the head of the road there, didn't it, with the logo? Uh, really cool. And then just looking across the whole campus, I think we've really managed to hit some of the vibes that we see in Portland. Um, at the Nike Worldwide Campus, so really cool. Uh, tons and tons of sports facilities all around with that running track running all the way around the edge of the campus now, which looks really cool. Uh, there is some also some office space uh, knocking around as well, for obvious reasons. Uh, lots of green belt around the little lake and dropped in some of the part life piers as well. And it actually ended up turning out pretty nicely, this lake. Um, the technique of sinking the uh, water outlets it worked out really nicely and having that, um, so I guess it's like a breakwater, sort of like a dam, isn't it? Uh, to set the threshold of the lake, really. Uh, it's a really nice way of getting in some uh, vanilla lakes. So now we can do this, and uh, I expect we can actually implement some more water features across the rest of the builds as uh, Orchid Bay, of course, continues to grow. Uh, our football fields sit in surprisingly well <laughs> next door to the factories, don't they? Uh, there's something about the sneaker factory here with all the football fields around it that just looks quite natural. A uh, little bit of detailing in around here where you can grab a bite to eat and there's also more integration uh, of campus assets like the Beach Volleyball Club and the IT Club just to help flesh out the sports campus a little bit more. Of course with the gym in here as well and a touch more office zoning just next door to uh, our track and field stadium. Also dropped in some police and fire services over here as well. So the campus has both fire safety and security and then we also popped down the media lab uh, which we have over here as well which we used at uh, the Schrodes media park way over in the downtown ages ago but it was a nice asset this one and definitely fits in with the sort of sports campus vibe over here doesn't it and then we did drop in a little baseball field as the campus fades back out into the tree line and into the mountains on the very edge of the map over here and uh, i think this is probably as far south we'll head over this way i think I don't think we'll have anything up in these mountains, but definitely expect more development over here, I think. And there are still some pretty significant valleys uh, around Denefu to be developed. There's a ton of fertile land down here. So uh, maybe some farming valleys at some point might look quite cool. I guess we'll have to see how viable that is in vanilla. The terrain's pretty gnarly over here. That uh, wouldn't play overly fair, I don't think, with the fields on terrain like that. But it's always worth having a little experiment, isn't it? Uh, this road down here isn't hooked in yet. I don't really want to do anything too permanent down here until we know what's happening with this space but I still think it's going to link over with a bridge from here at some point and then we'll hook at the connection that goes out to the nephew into another junction over this way of course which goes back to the uh, highway interchange that Imperator left for us uh, but otherwise I am tremendously happy with the sports campus a really cool idea and so a big shout out again to uh, Josh Enio for indeed suggesting it but otherwise guys it is going to do it for today if you have enjoyed it, likes, comments and shares below really do help me out and bring the video to more people. Equally so much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave me a dislike as well. Really cool, unique build this one and sits really nicely tucked in the sort of more private hills of Orchid Bay looking over the entire downtown. As always, an enormous shout out to the wonderful people that support the channel in the form of patrons with a special roll call to Felix Wilkinson. Thank you for all support guys. If you are interested in supporting the channel further, links down to Instant Gaming and Patreon below. There's a whole host of benefits for you to explore, should you so wish. Otherwise, please do enjoy today's cinematics, but I'll shut up and leave it there. Let's thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.